a lot of clouds. And also, most probably, more than likely not, also darts. It's the Ford Falcon fuckwit. Not the Falcon. Still being a fuckwit. Currently sitting with uh, one of my mates who I have um, aptly named the Commodore Cunt. How are you, Commodore Cunt? Not good. He's not good. <laughs> uh, we are in the kebab shop a little bit earlier, talking to some, uh, some fine ladies of uh, Fortitude Valley. And, um, Commodore Cunt, can you just say what you said in front of the ladies? Bazinga. He said Bazinga in front of the ladies. <laughs> Aside the fact that we had zero chance of um, at all wooing these uh, wooing these fine women of Brisbane, um, bro decided to say Bazinga. <laughs> Just want to leave you to that. Uh, full Falcon forever. Commodore ever. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Beers. Yeah, good night. Uh, Bloody Beers. Blowing the froth off. And welcome back to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast brought to you by Blue Bat. That's got some to ask about the Bloody Brilliant Beers. We started out reviewing craft beers on Facebook and now we bring you the conversations that you'd more than likely hear from the front bar at your local. Classy Jesus, good to be here. Yeah, mate. The Caxton Hotel. It's a great, great time always. It always Caxton. is a great time. Uh, this is our Blowing the Froth Off podcast where we hear from you guys, the beloved frothy. So if you do want to get in touch, give us a call and leave us a message on 0731033389 or alternatively, hit the link in our Instagram and or TikTok bio. It's as simple as that. How are you, Josh? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fucking sore. Same. I'm sore. For, for those watching on YouTube, you might be able to see the size of my fucking nose. Yeah. It's massive, bigger than normal. Yeah, a lot bigger than normal. Because it's always quite big. Maybe that's part of the reason why it is bigger than normal, because I've such a big target. We had sparring last yeah. night. And I just got bullied. Yeah, that's all right. Shout out to Marty and Michael from the Fully Actual podcast. They yep. trained at our gym. Marty just... When I say bullied, he wasn't... I mean, it what wasn't a cunt. He can just throw a jab. Exactly, he's just a better boxer than me. Like he jab. wasn't being a cunt at all. Yeah. Um, it's just what happens when you suck at fighting, like I do. Yep. Um, but yeah, other than that, Bazinga, I guess. Yeah, Bazinga. My God, was that um the Big Bang Theory? Or I think something? it was. Yeah, oh Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Bazinga. I think I could be wrong. Not a huge uh, fan. A notable sure. lady killer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, not something I'd be saying if I was trying to pick up in the Fortitude Valley. That's for sure. Fuck no. But um, credit to you for actually being able to get words out of your mouth while being outside of a kebab shop in Fortitude Valley. <laughs> That's a lot better than uh, probably 75% of the males that are there. Yeah, exactly right. Too yeah. many cunts chewing their faces off. Yeah. Or too blind or to speak. Too blind. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, it's always good to hear from the Ford Falcon fuckwit, but um, let's move on. Hello, you sluts and potential fucks. How are we, boys? It's your favourite pommy once again. I wanted to let you know the oh, role player <laughs> struck again. All right, so it's Paddy's day. The Guinness are flying. I've maybe had one or two many Guinness. We're talking 20, right? It's a great night. And we end up bumping into the same same group of rockets, right? So I've gone back to hers again. And we're all there this time. And everyone goes off and he does the bit, bits. I'm like, sweet. And she goes, this time, Matt, you're going to dress up for me. I was like, what, really? She goes, yeah, we're going to play pilots. And I was like, all right then. She goes, in that box there, there is a pilot outfit. I want you to put it on, come back out. And I was like, that's me. So I go inside, get it on. I'm looking unbelievable, lads. Everything is looking peachy. All right, so I walk out and I go, right, how does this pilot's aeroplane thing work? And she's laying in bed. And she goes, oh, it's really easy. You take the fuck off. <laughs> ah, yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. Keep doing what you're doing. Put here, keep living the dream. Darcy, get fucked. <laughs> Just been a fucking big pilot's outfit. Yeah, fucking oath. <laughs> fucking oath. Oh, good to hear from you as always, Maddie. You're the reason they fucking make you weigh your carry on on the way in because the pilot's taking up so much weight out the front, bruh. <laughs> 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 oh fuck it up. I was wondering where he'd go with that one and I'm, yeah. I'm not disappointed at all no 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 we always love hearing from our least favourite pom um, yeah. let us know how your brother Sam is because he's our favourite um, but yeah shout yeah. out to you fucking I. moving on <laughs> hey lads wind how are we good wind chime we could have the wrong call here but yeah no I'm doing alright thanks for that 
Um, now, uh, just a quick question. Do you reckon it's a stitch-up or a funny prank to call the hotline at Suncorp Stadium or the Gabba um, and, you know, report your mate who's sitting next to you in the seat next year for, you know, abuse or whatever it is. So the seckies come down and get them. You know, you know the buddy helpline they have at the buddy stadiums? Yes. I reckon uh, it's a pretty funny prank, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I know we're not a, uh AFL podcast as such, but go St Kilda. <laughs> Wind chime out. <laughs> that is fucking funny, ass. I love that all the calls start with a wind yeah, chime. Yeah, I, I, I had that in my notes, but I forgot it was wind chimes. When it started, I was like, oh, I don't remember having a wind chime fucking thing Fuck, in here. Fuck, that's so good. Um, yeah, look, that would be an all-time fucking sit- You know what would be the best? Is say you go with a mate who's from a rival team, and you're yeah. absolutely pumping that team, and then to add insult to injury, you call them up and say that this bloke's been abusive. Yeah. So you're like, your team's losing by 40, 50 points, plus you get kicked out of the game. I reckon it'd be almost even funnier to do it, like, if you if you have friends at the game who aren't sitting with you, and be like, where are you sitting? I'll come and find you or whatever, and then just yes. ring up and be like, the person in this seat. That uh, would be been so far. I wonder what the repercussions would be. Like, well, would you just get come, kicked out? Would that be it? I think so. They'd come down and be like, mate, we have reports that you're being quite abusive. Yeah. Get the fuck Surely out. Surely they just keep an eye on you. Right? Like, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It'd it's be pretty fucking funny. I'd be so mad. Yeah, if I was at the footy and so that to me, I'd be so fucking mad. Oh, man, I've got my kids here. This yeah. guy's just going off his fucking And what do you up. say if they come up to you? Oh, have you been, there's been reports you've been abusive. Well, I haven't. It's like, well, that's what you would say. Yeah, that's what you, yeah you, there's no way that you can't get out of it, really. Yeah. You'd hope that there'd be some absolute legend that's sitting near, near you. Near you, yeah, they can vouch like, for you, yeah. That's, that's not True. what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fuck, that would be funny. That would be good. Who do you reckon would get the most pissed off oh. out of our mates for that? I'd be up there. I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. I don't know if I'd make a scene about it, like, at the yeah. time, but I'd be fucking off it. Yeah, like, you, I'd be you probably wouldn't up. say much, but you'd get the, the stone cold face. I'd be sh- Afterwards, I'd be saying yeah. a lot. Yeah. But, like, at the time. I, I reckon like, my, my favourite person to do it to would probably be Eden. Yeah. Because he'd be so clueless. Jackson as well. Jackson as well, Especially yeah. Especially if he was real pissed. Yeah. Uh, there's a bloke with tennis elbow who's just been harping on about it <laughs> and also abusing the opposition. Yeah. yeah. Be gentle with him. Yeah, be gentle. But <laughs> He loves getting injured. Rough him up. Yeah, if you touch him too hard, he'll fucking come up with another <laughs> mysterious injury. That could be a good fucking topic for next week's thing. Give us a call and tell us about one of your friends who's had a fucking stupid injury. Yeah. Because our mates had so many. I think we've covered we've, off We've before. covered off all of them at the moment. He wore a fucking splint on his finger for like eight weeks because yeah. he got a fucking repetitive strain injury yeah. from playing PlayStation. That will never not no. be lived down. He currently now has tennis elbow, which is apparently keeping him out of the boxing gym. But I'm like, whatever. He doesn't even play tennis. No. He can still play golf, but he can't come to yeah, the boxing gym. Can't come to boxing. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what that's... I wonder what's really happening. Yeah. There, you know? Yeah. Um, Maybe lay off having so many wanks. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. G'day, boys. How you doing? Good ball. How are you? Yeah, doing well myself. Thank you. That's the way. Um, now, I just want to get your thoughts on something. Uh, I was in the office today, and I need to go to the loop. So I walk in there, um, and it's a, you know it's a pretty for context. It's a pretty standard office urinal layout. Um, there are four urinals there, um, and as I walk in, uh, there's already a bloke you know, standing there, um, you know, having a wait. Now, as I, I unzip um, and, and unsheath, ready to, to release the, the flow of, you know, the, the ice long black of the morning, um, this guy lets out um, a bit of a fart. Nice. Um, and so in reply, as my flow is released, <laughs> um, simultaneously release my own fart. <laughs> to which this guy has a little chuckle. I have a chuckle. We nod. Um, and he walks out, washes his hands and, and leaves. Now, I've never seen this bloke before and I probably won't again due to the large size of the office I work in. Um, but I just wanted to uh, see what you guys thought. Uh, are office urinal farts couth or uncouth? Um, and on the, on that, uh, are there any other public toilets where, you know, farting's couth or not couth? Like, obviously, the pub, hilarious. But, you know, where else is play on? 
<laughs> I fucking cut that off that recording as well, but he called himself like the oftenest ur- urinal father or something in the yeah, end as well. Yeah. Fuck, that got me Holy so good. Holy fuck, that's so funny. The, the chuckle is so yeah, funny. Yeah. Man, I imagine him standing like, to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him standing in full like corporate attire, yeah. like, button ups and chinos, yeah. and just farting and then going <laughs> and nodding and walking. Do down. you know what I do at home all the time? <laughs> if I'm pissing, chuckle at your own farts. Do I just go ooh, <laughs> and the girl. <laughs> every oh, single time so, so it's funny. like at least once every 15 minutes it's just like <laughs> <laughs> the fart in the office like urinal is a brave fart because <clears throat> obviously it worked out i think it's like risk reward right like mm. that's a very risky fart you could fart in the office urinal and get someone who's like what the fuck yeah and they could end up to be the ceo of the business and get you sacked or you could fart in a urinal and it's so much funnier because there's Mate, high risk. I would be going straight to fucking HR and Channel 9, Channel 7, every fucking news publication if some cunt tried to fucking fire me for farting at the no, urinal. That was, a, that was a fucking, I'm blowing that out of yeah, proportion, but, but you, you know, know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like yeah. There would be people out there that would try and do that. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah, little, yeah. little. But you know what I mean? Like the fact that yeah. he's done it when he shouldn't have done it is what made it funny and they've both chuckled at each other. Yeah. Whereas- could have gone very south. Well, it's sort of like to me. It's it's like a, um, a tennis match there. Yeah, one person <laughs> Returning served serve. it up. And his return serve straight away. He's just away. fucking stepped yeah. up to the net and just slammed that yeah. thing back down. I both thought he was going to get an ace. Yeah, no, he's just Take returned this it Nick back. Kyrgios, Sh- bro. Yeah, boom. <laughs> See you later. And it's like, oh, good job. <laughs> um, yeah, I also think like doing. I am not opposed to farting anytime you have to piss. Yeah, because like otherwise, there's some occasions. When you're pissing, you simply can't not fart. fart. If you have a fart, you can't not yeah. fart and get the piss out at the same time. Yeah. Like, it's just not going to happen. Not possible. Um, so, I like doing it at the stadiums as well. Yeah, very good. I reckon good. that always happens. The only thing- packed that, house. Yeah, they love packed it. house. The only thing that I get a bit of head noise about is if someone's walking behind me. Yeah. If you're on, like, the dusted. edges. Yep. And you just, like, Play farted on, on someone. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, probably don't walk with the firing that close. range. Yeah, like it literally is like the fucking firing range. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked. Um, <laughs> firing range, guys. Yeah, well, it is. 20 urinals all facing back towards you. Yeah, yeah not a spot you want to be. Yeah. No, definitely not. Um, no, I'm a, I'm a massive uh, yeah, fan. Yeah, I can't just, think of anywhere else that maybe like if you're meeting your girlfriend's parents for the first time and you go into their bathroom. Like, yeah. But again, like- if they're if they're judging you for that, yeah. Do you want to be a part of that family? Yeah, that's probably true. not. That's true. I still like to try and be semi respectful with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but um, I think I think that you can still be respectful. But if it slips out, like to be judged by it that, it is what it be, is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not a grub. You're doing it in the toilet. Yeah. What would you prefer me to do? Just sit out here and fucking yeah. Let you want me to fucking I will. trump it on your couch? I will. Oh, thanks for this delicious steak. <laughs> Four days later, you'd be going, "What the fuck? Something smells yeah. like shit in here." Exactly. Yeah. I tell you, Clutty was on the couch for fifteen minutes. If I was ostracised for my farting, <laughs> you would have faced the firing range. Yeah. Fucking oath. <laughs> and a long time ago. You know what? And if if I'd come across people who judge me for farting and all that sort of shit, <laughs> like I'd never be in a relationship. You'd have no friends. I'd, I'd be. <laughs> I'd be the biggest loner on planet Earth. <laughs> You'd be a hermit, like not leaving your fucking yeah. fart smelling house. Fuck no, it's called me a crap. <laughs> just live in my little shell. Yeah, of just, methane. You have methane and just keep fucking Constant farting. Dutch oven. It'd be so cooked. Imagine just adding to that all the time. <laughs> just the oh slow build God. up of methane. <laughs> anyway, uh, should we move on? I'll tell you what though. Yeah. I would love the opportunity to just bottle farts. Would ya? And just release them. Yeah. You could so do that. Why can't it, you do that? Well, I don't know. I don't have bottles on me. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. Otherwise, like, imagine that. Like, if you just... If someone's being a prick, you just go, fucking juggle. Take this, brother. Yeah. yeah. You could date them all and say, like, what you ate the day before and oh. stuff. You know, like, March 22nd, GYG dinner. Yeah. Right. Well, that's going to be a fucking I think I was one. telling you the other day, we tried out this African joint near Caitlin's, and it was phenomenal food. Yeah. Some of the best food we've ever had. Um... But I'm not sure if it was the Reuben sandwich that I had that morning in Sydney Fuck combined Reuben with the coffee or with all the sauerkraut. Yeah. I think that could have been it because yeah. I don't think I would have been able to produce that fart in that quick a time after consuming oh, the African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too close. But 
holy fuck, what I was producing last Friday night will go down as some of the best slash worst farts ever. The stench was phenomenal. It was so, so bad. It's funny how farts can be the best and the worst. You know what I mean? Like the worst fart is the best. Yeah, like when it was coming out, I was like, oh, wow, this is fucking sick. But I just knew that it was going to smell bad. (laughs) The ones when you like, you go to bed and you're doing anything, like my room's going to smell like shit when I wake up. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Caitlin wonders why I want the fan and the echo on all the time. It's called circulation, babe, so we don't choke on my own fucking shit. Our power bill's a thousand bucks a month. Yeah, well, well, would you rather that or yeah, die well, slow, painful smell. death? Yeah, yeah exactly. Fuck. It's called methane. Yeah, you don't have pink eye love. <laughs> Surprised you pay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. I like clucks and also das. It's the Ford Falcon fuckwit. Not in the Falcon, but I'm a little bit of fuckwit with a little bit of carpentry work. <laughs> um, just thought I'd share this little yarn of an interaction I had with a lady recently. Um, you know, matched her on Tinder, and we get to talking a little bit. Long story short, she invites me over to her place because it's a fucking five-minute walk on the foot mountains. So I, before I go over there, you know, I decide to do the um, do the wise thing and um, and crank one out. <laughs> And, um, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a wise choice. Both of us had a good time. The job was done. Um, definitely fucking snapped it, snapped it into fifth. It was, a, it, was a good, it was a good day out. And um, I told her on a whim that um, before I came over, I'd, I'd cranked one out. And she said, what's the logic behind that? And I said to her, oh, love, got to release a single before you drop the album, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ford Falcon forever <laughs> Commodore never uh, Get fucked and keep fucking <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck oh. I did not expect this <laughs> <laughs> The man's got a point though He does have a point The man's got a point He doesn't miss No Um Fucking Brave hell. move to tell her that... Yeah, tell you, Fuck, imagine dealing with the Ford Falcon fuck with. It'd be an absolute It'd be pleasure. so up front. Oh, yeah. He'd just tell you how everything is. Yeah, this is what's happening. This is how it is. There's some girls at the gym that could have done with the Ford Falcon fuck with this morning. Why? Uh, you know those two sisters? Yeah, yeah. They came back in and they were like, do you know anything about cars? And I just laughed. <laughs> um, was their car fucked? She's like, I got the fuel injectors fixed up the other day, but... I've just turned on the car and all I can smell is fuel in the car. Oh. I was like, You fuck. lost me at fuel, can, fuel inje- whatever yeah. the fuck they're called, injectors. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. You might want to get acquainted with that smell then because <laughs> I don't think anyone's helping you here. Also, there's a mechanic, yeah, there's a mechanic next, door next door to the gym. But, um, they would have had to drive part, like yeah. through the mechanic shop to get but it out. If I can fuck with it, if you want to help out some girls next Friday at 5.45, come to Nitro Boxing, come to Nitro Boxing and you might, Roadie Road, uh, might be able to flex your skills. Also, vote for Nitro Boxing is the best gym uh, in Triple M's pod. Yeah, go to their Instagram. It's there. We put a story up yep. the other day. We'd appreciate if you helped them out. That's not an ad for them. Yeah, they're just helping us out, get ready for the fight. So we would appreciate if you could help them out. Um, fucking oath. I was also just thinking then, like a five minute walk oh, on nice. the foot falcon, and he's just gone and cranked one out beforehand. Like, I wonder what what time of day and stuff is this happening as well? Because like the just being able to just on a whim just go boom out five minutes. Here we go. Like. <laughs> The dude is just working absolute clockwork here, right? Yeah, he doesn't fuck it Holy about. shit. He doesn't fuck doesn't it about. Fu- Can you imagine, all right, it's like maybe he's like just knocked off from work or something. It's yeah. like two o'clock in the Arvo. And then he gets this message on the way home. He's like, oh, well, fuck it. Straight inside, strip off, ball, Bang. shower, walk. Yeah. It's all within a half an hour period. It's like yeah. that is efficiency. Efficiency. That is absolute yeah. peak. <laughs> yep. That is efficiency. <laughs> yeah. If there's anyone out there that wants to um, get with the Ford Falcon, I think you should. Yeah. Because he's Sounds literally like the most well-oiled machine. Yeah. And knob. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Stars, the Pooh Professor here. Long time, no call. Uh, just calling you currently from beautiful Kenya. Uh, I think this may be the first call from the African continent, but Fuck. I, I may be wrong be. with that. Anyway, uh, 
My job out here often entails driving round, looking at animals, and then picking up their shit. So tell me why I'm stuck in the fucking lab at fucking half past midnight, because nothing will fucking work. Um, yeah, it's really getting to me, boys. Uh, anyway, I was thinking the other day, if you and Klotzy were out here, what animals would you be? And um, I think for Klotz, it's pretty obvious. He's a charismatic big fellow. I think he'd be the lion. But for Darcy, <laughs> it took me a bit longer to think, and then it came to me. Darcy would be like an impala or a gazelle. I was thinking and of gazelle. <laughs> you may not think they're important, but without them, the fucking lion would die and starve, <laughs> which I think is a metaphor for this podcast, because we all know Klutz does <laughs> fuck all, and Darcy carries everything. Right. Uh, See you, boys. I think a gazelle's too fast for me, though. I was thinking a gazelle because it seems like a long distance runner. Yeah, because like, it can get away from the lion, who is short over, uh, who is fast over a shorter short, distance. Yeah, true. Um, but fuck yeah, it, it raises a lot of questions. Doesn't it does. It, it does. Um, oh. I, I, I think a lion would be good. Um, yeah, I didn't expect too many arguments from you. Yet. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> The way I'm looking at just it, gave me a nod. Like, yep. yep, I'll I'll cop that. King there's, of the jungle. Yep. The fucking eye. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> lions seem to when they're at the top as well. They just fucking chill. Yeah. But then when it comes to crunch when, time, yeah. that can't get up. When space opens up on the oh wing and you've got the, a short ball, fucking eye. <laughs> or if there's an option straight up the middle, yeah. he's straight there. <laughs> yep. The other thing I was thinking as well was a jaguar for yourself. Yeah, just because they're lightning quick. <laughs> okay. Um, and they like to spring into action and <laughs> big cats. Yeah, big cats. They are known to also swing from the trees. Yeah, sure. I don't really swing in trees, but it'd be pretty cool to yeah, do. Yeah, it's a metaphor. Yeah, it is a metaphor. Um, the other thing, probably a giraffe. Yeah, just because my head's always stuck in the no clouds. No one can reach your head. Yeah, and I'm always just out of it. Yeah, like oh, I think giraffes are always out of it. Um, a hippopotamus. I do like the water, <laughs> and they're fucking huge. They are big, and also there is that. Hilarious video of a hippopotamus that does that, the fart with yeah. the shit going everywhere. <laughs> I could probably emulate Too similar, that. yeah. Imagine what I could do if I was a hippopotamus. Oh. <laughs> You'd be in, a, in the freak show. Tell you what, the audio toilets wouldn't have survived if I was a hippopotamus. <laughs> and they nearly didn't anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy. Shout well, to the American plumbing system. True, they actually did not. We had to come up with a way to fix that fucking thing. Huh? Oh, yeah, it actually was busted. Yeah. That was annoying. I was really. Fuck, I don't miss that bathroom. Nah, definitely not. Lack of water pressure. Oh, Fuck the off. worst. And it took so long to get hot. Maybe that yeah. was just because I was so fucking rattled every time I went in there. But. Yeah. I was thinking that I wish I had more of a, a knowledge of the uh, the toilets. Because how good would it have been if I could just go, I'll fix this and we get free accommodation? What do you mean? Well, because like the toilet's technically fucked, but we can yeah, have yeah. a way to not. Have it fucked. Have it proper fucked. But if there was a very simple fix, I could have just weaseled our way and just be like... Yeah, oh, our toilet was fucked the whole time. Toilet was fucked. I actually fixed it for you. Yep. Give us our money back, cunt. Yeah. And yeah. Would have been smart. Would have been really good. Probably just like three weeks too late there, man. Yeah, I know. I was thinking it. <laughs> but that's why I, I wish I had the knowledge because yeah, I would have yeah, been yeah, able yeah. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. How about oh, next yeah. time you listen to the words before you have a go, cunt? <laughs> How about next time you finish your apprenticeship, cunt? <laughs> fix the <laughs> toilet. Fuck <laughs> no. That was not my job. My job <laughs> yeah, was to that's put like pipe in the ground. You weren't fucking working on toilets. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, I was working on toilets, but not in that sense. I worked you were on getting a lot paid to be on toilets. Yeah. Fuck you, no. I put in some hard yards on those portal loose. Making the toilets work. Oh. More Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck, P Portaloos all over Brisbane are rejoicing that Clutzy's become a full-time podcaster. That's I'll for tell sure. You what, I'm rejoicing I'm not fucking stuck in those <laughs> yeah, hot boxes. Fucking oath gun. Jesus. Fuck that. So I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Street hooligan here. Not on Hindley Street, but I'm still a hooligan. <laughs> Hope all you froffies having a good Saturday night. <laughs> Just cracked open a can of black rats. I'm about three quarters of a carton down. It is 8.42 <laughs> South Australian time. Hopefully P. Um, I love your potty, <laughs> Darcy, Klutz. Use the absolute weapons. <laughs> Klutzy, 
I respect your rig and I love how you show it off. <laughs> Darcy, I just love your dedication to the frothies <laughs> and, you know, always making sure that we're always on top of merch drops and everything else. And to the frothies, I fucking love the community that we have built together. Even though I've just been recently calling in, I've been listening since double digit episodes. Same with the Alpha Blokes, same with Two Flogs. I was a first digit listener with the Two Flogs. Anyway, boys and ladies of the Frothy Alpha Blokes, Two Flogs, the Knuckles, every other podcast community, have a ripper Saturday night. Finally, Street Hooligan out. Few rums under the belt. Fuck it, yeah. Fair few rums by the sounds of things. That's fine. I'm excited to have a black rat with that man. Oh yeah. Get a bloke and a black rat. It's been a while since I've had a black rat. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Delicious. I've got a half a bottle just sitting on my desk at home. Yeah. From when I watched the Elimination Chamber with Herdy. Of course, yeah. And I look at it and just go. Fuck, you've done well to drink half a bottle of Black Rat, watch WWE, and not end up with like a broken bone. Yeah, I know. But I would be frog splashing cunts off the bed and shit. Maybe I was, but I'm just that fucking dominant. Yeah, just athletic. Also, I'd hate to be I frog just, splashed by you, bro. Yeah, dude, that'd be so fucked. <laughs> Holy. That would be horrendous. Imagine the velocity coming down because the heavier it is, the quicker they, they fall. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Boom, cunt. Yeah. Straight into that ring. You know what your finishing move should be similar to Rikishi, where he just like shoved his ass in people's face? Yeah. That, you'd kill people. Well, they used to, Rikishi, the, uh, he was like the big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he used to be tag team, part, tag team partners with Scotty Too Hotty, who did the yeah. worm. Was he? Yeah, hang on. Yeah. I think Rikishi might have passed away. Yeah, know, and he had like a couple of different names at some point. Because hey? uh, on one of the know. WWE games, his move used to be, and he used to come out in like a velvet suit. Yeah, and he used right. to like do this, and then he'd just jump on the back and like dry hump people. <laughs> That's my finisher. Shit. <laughs> The dry hump. Yeah. I would dry hump you to death. Oh, oh, oh. It'd be so fucked. Well, dude, imagine that because it'd be like a like a, um, like a floppy fish going up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like all the way to the front, the, now to the back. The now thing the is front, with you, unlike a floppy fish, them being out of water, they'll eventually die. You can just go and go and go and go yeah. and go and go and go. That's true. Especially if you take the Ford Falcon fuckwits advice and pull yourself off before. Fucking hell. Jesus, fifth gear. straight to fifth gear, <laughs> nice and lubricated. Good luck to anyone's back. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the WWE Elimination Chamber. Yep. Shout um, out to the Hindley Street Hooligan and shout out to Black Rats. Yeah, shout out to everyone and the Frothies, everyone. Um, probably got time for one more. That's half an hour. Yeah, we'll go one more. Clutterus, how are you bulls going? Good, Good bull, how are you? How are you? Very well, thanks. Larry and Locksmith here. Love it here. Listening to your latest potty about the, the old big dub selling fucking tattoo guns. I don't think big dub has to worry because you can buy those fuckers on eBay. <laughs> I got on a bender probably about 12 years ago, probably half the reason why I don't drink anymore. Purchased one on a Saturday night around a fire. Completely forgot about it. The fucking thing rocked up oh, two and a half weeks later. Inks, tattoo gun, you name it, stencils, whatever. And now, now because I got on the piss again with the boys, I've got the most pathetic excuse of a fucking skull with a scroll that says EST 1991 <laughs> on my fucking thigh. That my tattooist now refuses to cover over because oh. it's fucking a piss take. Um, but yeah, I don't think Big W has to worry about any of that sort of shit when you can buy that stuff on eBay. Love yous. Cheeks in your cheeks, give them fucking heaps. Dream big, fart loud. Love yous. Fucking I have to tell you what, eBay would be responsible for a lot of dumb shit that people have done. Oh, 100%. The amount of stuff you can find. Well, not even just eBay. Like eBay just used to be the shopping. thing you used to go to. Hey? Yeah. 
Because it was just like... Dude, I'm pretty sure now eBay, I haven't used it in ages, but I'm pretty sure it's not even like a bidding system. You know what I mean? Like mm. people just sell, like we could sell merch on eBay and there's like, there could yeah. be a hundred shirts. Yeah, you can you can set um, a buy now option. Yeah, okay. But you can put up your secondary shit and have the bidding, bidding. still. Yeah, okay. But yeah, you could put up a tattoo kit and be like, this is how much it is, buy now. Yeah. Boom. So yeah, you got all your little shops and shit on there. Um, eBay really was a pioneer with that sort of stuff. Yeah. But now I remember being in like auctions for shit and it'd be like a minute to go. You're like, holy fuck, yeah. am I going to get this? Am I going to get this? You get outbid at the last minute. Bro, I remember I got given like 40 or 50 bucks for my birthday one year and I really wanted to get some Star Wars Lego. Shock me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but the new one, like the new Legos were just like too expensive and yep. I wasn't really into what it was. So I ended up getting a... Um, I was with mum for so long watching this fucking X-Wing, old school X-Wing um, on eBay with the auctions. Like every day we'd watch it. She's like, let's just set our amount or whatever. Yeah. Thought someone went over the top of me and I was like, nah, this is fucked. We ended up winning it. Get in. But the most disappointing thing, I was building it all and mum was like, oh, you got to be careful because it is secondhand so it might not have everything. Oh, no. There was a couple of parts missing oh. that I ended up using other stuff for, but I forgot how old I was at the time, but I threw the biggest fucking tantrum. Yeah. I was distraught. Yeah. And that's when I learned eBay is a cunt <laughs> and you got to be careful. Hopefully and there's they never some want to people the out podcast. there. <laughs> nah, well, okay, not eBay. <laughs> I do actually love eBay. I still purchase a bit off there. It's a good new turn, eh? People on eBay can be cunts. Oh, the 180. Yeah, the map. Oh. Yeah, definitely a big 180. Like he's late in the piece. Surely yeah, exactly. no one from eBay is listening still. If you are, please reach out. Because <laughs> I really like what you've done now. We did reach out to the dude. Mum said a very uh, strongly worded email and we got some replacement pieces or some, or he refunded yeah, us some shit. Yeah. Something like that. But a make good, if you will. Yeah. But otherwise, I'll tell you what. Little Joshy, not happy. Not a happy camper. Not a happy boy. Oh, well, you live and you learn, Klutz. <laughs> yep, that's it. Um, thank you all for listening. That's been 34 minutes, surely. That's fucking just about time. We appreciate your time. We appreciate you all. Yep. Send this to all your mates. Get them to listen. Let's fucking blow the streaming numbers up. Um, yeah, send it to one other person. We haven't done yeah. that for a while. Just no, send haven't. it to a mate. See if they like it. If they don't, Tell them to enough. get fucked. Yeah, tell them to get <laughs> fucked. So, um, special guest coming on on Wednesday for an interview, Julian Woods. Ah, uh, yes, we got to record that. Yeah, before Wednesday, Tuesday, maybe. Yeah, sweet. So like, we usually do. Yeah, just the usual. <laughs> except there'll be someone else on, not just us two. So stay tuned for that, and yep. uh, we'll see you very soon. Righto, bye. Bye.